So we are using the ultrasonic sensors, uh, six at the front, six at the rear. These are the same we are using for the other active park assist functions. Um, so with those, uh, the car detects the free space and potential obstacles. Then we have the remote control device. We have different concepts we are working on. This one is a special control device. It uses a special radio, radio frequency to communicate with the vehicle. There are of course a lot of strong requirements because it needs to be secure. We don't want somebody else to come to your car and drive away with it using his remote control device. Um, but the disadvantage for the driver is of course he needs an additional device. So we are working on another concept where you use um, just your normal key fob in combination with your smartphone. So the secure communication is done with the key fob and uh, the, your smartphone communicates via Bluetooth to the vehicle. So you can use the smartphone to operate it, to tell it go to the left, to the right, straight away into the gap or out. But the key confirms that you are allowed to tell it to go somewhere. So there's an app for that coming. Exactly. Yeah, of course, requires a special app. Uh, and then with the smartphone, of course, you can use it for different vehicles. Uh, because the unique one or the unique thing is the key fob. So you can, if you have the right key fob, you can use it on any type of vehicle, in fact. When is that coming? Uh, even if I would know, I would not be allowed to tell you, to be honest. But I, I, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm a developing engineer, so for this system, um, it's not my decision when it, when it is to come. We have, we have this, uh, I told you we have two different concepts. We have this one using the ultrasonic sensors and this special key fob. We are working on another concept at the moment. This one is more or less almost ready for <coughs> application. The other one, we are still working with it. The other one has also an additional advantage. Um, additional to the ultrasonic sensors, we are using also 360 degree radars. So four radars at each of the corners. And with these radars, we can uh, understand in a much better way what's happening around our vehicle. So you saw when I, um, when I went in front of the vehicle, the vehicle stopped. That's all we can do with the ultrasonic sensors. With the radar sensors, we would be able also to uh, detect the scene in a better way so that we go around the pedestrian. So if I would stop like here, of course, then you cannot do anything. But if I would be like here, then it could steer around me and use the free space which is here uh, and just continue without uh, and ignoring me more or less. So. That's a uh, yeah, different uh, concept we have. Um, yeah, it's a lot of, of course, intelligent software. Um, on, on the sensing side, I said we can use the ultrasonic sensors which we have already on the car, so nothing to change there. Something we need to uh, change definitely is the transmission because you are outside and you need to do everything from outside, so it has to be everything automated. So shifting out of P, shifting to D, to R, etc. Uh, it has to be done automatically and uh, without needing somebody to press the brakes, for example, to shift out of D and this kind of things. Um, at the moment, current legislation would allow this feature in Europe, so there's no problem. We checked everything. We could introduce it tomorrow already. Uh, however, in the US, there, are, there is still one regulation which needs to be modified, so at the moment it would not be allowed to have such a feature in the US because there it is required that somebody presses the brake pedal for shifting out of P. And of course here there is no one in the car, so we should do that. Uh, you said about legislation in the US which requires uh, a driver to put his you know, his foot on the brake, a clutch yeah. and the brake. Um, obviously, Google are like testing driverless cars and that kind of thing. Is it just that you can't deploy them sort of commercially or? Yes. Yeah. I, I, they need to change this anyhow because with this regulation, automated driving is not possible, yeah. obviously. And this feature is, I mean, it goes in the same direction that would not be possible as well. So there is an initiative which is uh, discussing this already. So it's a matter of time when this is going to change. Oh, yeah.